How's it going? John here with you for another shave video. Um, it's been a while since I've done this and uh, hopefully all goes well. Today we are going to be using SMG Soap's Relief Factor. This stuff has a killer scent. Um, its main scents are going to be uh, Blood Orange as well as Madagascar Black Pepper. That's what's listed. John does a great job. So if you guys have a chance, check out smgsoaps.net amazing stuff. Today's razor is going to be 1830's George and Sons 7 8 honed down by Shave Master General from SMG Soaps, John Romanoff. So, um, and we are going to be rolling today with the Haircut and Shave Company 26mm brush. already got that loaded, so other than throwing on the pre-shave, we should be able to get rolling pretty quickly. So, without further ado, we'll throw a little water on the face, grab the cube, and we will get rolling. So, um, Relief Factor was kind of a a nice touch for today considering Ohio's weather has finally broke so we are getting a little bit of break from all the miserable heat and humidity not that I don't enjoy summer but um, being a fat guy you don't do well in the, in the heat so um, I mean I'm not uh, a huge advocate for freezing cold frigid winters either um, I'm more of a fall guy so this relief factor was kind of very appropriate all things considered to um, for the break in the weather as well as I was kind of relieved that this stuff came because for a good minute um, I was in contact with John uh, this stuff was kind of in the wind we weren't quite sure where it got to it last scan it had was in Florida a little over a week ago at, or well more than a week ago and nothing since so you know we I had to contact USPS and they finally located it uh, after two days of searching it was in Pittsburgh so and a day and a half after being in Pittsburgh it arrives here so that was a very big relief to say the least so um, I'm gonna get the face lathered up and we are gonna get rolling so without further ado let's get going um, John's soaps tend to be very very slick um, there's not quite as much cushion as some others, but, um, you know, he makes a vegan soap base, which is very slick, like I said, slick enough for straight razor shaving, and I'm no pro to straight razor shaving by any means, but um, this stuff is more than slick enough to take care of business. So, um, and the other thing, like I said, I preloaded this brush before I turned on the video. You will be able to add water to this as you go along. Um, I'm not really quite sure how long I loaded this for. I just loaded it until the brush looked like it was full. So um, we will kind of go from there. Oh yeah, I forgot to grab the excess. I might as well not let that go to waste. Throw this on, rub it in. And yeah, um, John had had these razors for a few weeks honed them up nice, put a perfect edge on them. If uh, if you're looking for anybody um, to hone up your razors, by all means, look him up. He does a great job. And uh, who better than the Shave Master General to hone down your blades for you. So, tell you what, I will put you guys on hold not to bore you while I'm rubbing this stuff in and getting it dialed in. And we'll be right back with the first pass. Okay, we're back. And God, you guys didn't have to wait too long. Not that you guys really paid any attention. It's kind of instantaneous for you. But um, at any rate, uh, I've been excited to get this back and uh, give it a whirl. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Um, by the way, I uh, gouged up my mustache area a few weeks ago. So if I feel a bit nervous about doing this, I may go to the holy black SR71 DE to clean up around the nose and chin if uh, if I feel that I might gouge it up because I do have work later today and I don't feel like you know using the styptic too much today so here we go pass number one let's see how this goes oh 
Holy smokes, this thing is just mowing through it. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it over my little air conditioner back there. I'll try and shut this door so that you don't hear quite so much. But uh, this thing is just mowing right through all this. This is one hell of a self-dig. John, you did an amazing job. And all I had to do was put this on the strop for a little bit and I was in business. So, great work John as always. You know, like a lot of other guys, I, I get real into this, uh, the whole idea of the, um, the vintage razors and what kind of stories they have to tell. Uh, this thing dates back to probably about the 1830s, 1840s. So, I mean, if you want to try and imagine just who the hell was president at that amount, or that time, that tells you how many faces this might have seen and what kind of action it might have been through if it ever went to war with any English guys or came here to the States. So, this is the part that I always seem to find a way to screw up, so bear with me here. And like I said, John's soaps that he makes, very slick. Um, it, it's not this uh, real, um, I don't know which word, cushiony type of soap, but it gets the job done, and it is more than sufficient for somebody using a straight razor. So, um, you know, if you're thinking of trying another artisan, he's definitely somebody worth looking into. And whether he watches this video or not, I do have some more blades that I do have to look into sending to him. So hopefully I'll just end up lining it up with another release of his new soaps. Yeah, I'm just getting a little nervous around this chin area. I think I'm going to use the DE to clean up that and the mustache. Just add a, a little pre-game jitters, if you will, for what I went through a few weeks ago. So we'll go to the other side now. Let's start working on it. Yeah, this is one hell of a smooth shave, to say the least. Now, I, uh, I hate leaving out this part of the story. This razor came to me. I, um, I went and visited an old barber. She is got to be late 60s, early 70s, and, um, or mid-70s for all I know. She's a second-generation barber, and her father was a barber as well, obviously. <laughs> and um, they owned a shop down near Dayton, Ohio, um, Springfield area for any of you who happen to be from the Buckeye State, but um, she has this huge display case full of old straight razors and she said that the razors go with the shop when she goes. So I'm going to clean up the rest with the DE. Um, she said that the rest go with the shop when she goes and 
anyhow, she, I got to looking at quite a few of them, and she said that I could have them. Well, I kind of felt a little bit awkward saying that, but she said, the one condition is you don't sell them. And I was like, well, of course. Um, my boys and I have got into this, especially my oldest. Um, my second son is 12, so he will be shaving before long. My oldest has been straight razor shaving for about the last two months now, and, um, you know, he definitely enjoys being able to throw that fact around at school because none of his coaches for wrestling, none of his teachers, and none of his friends are man enough to give it a whirl. So, um, you know, some people say this is probably one of the most masculine things you can do, and here I am cheating. So, um, trust me, I can take the criticism. I, I, uh, if all I had to do was shave and not, you know, wear a gator mask or, you know, any kind of mask that would catch, like, Velcro right here every time I spoke, I would let the facial hair go, like, two, three days at a time and straight, shave with a straight razor every day, every time I could. But I know straight razor shaving isn't exactly an everyday thing. Um, some people can do it. I don't know that my skin would tolerate it. So, I mean, that's just me saying that I'm kind of a baby at times. So, I'll put you guys on hold. Lather back up for pass number two. Okay, we are set for pass number two. We're going to go against the grain. Ha ah, Shit. <laughs> Alright, well, one more touch up there. Sorry, I promise I wouldn't waste too much time lathering up for you guys because um, I've tended to use up quite a bit of air time doing that. So, without further ado, we'll get to the second pass. Like I said, we're going to go against the grain, not through it this time. So, alright, so let's pray here. just slightly indecisive about where and how to start this sometimes. Holy smokes, is that it sharp? Awesome. Okay, so... I'm trying to do the mirror and the phone at the same time, or the mirror and the camera at the same time, so... Bear with me, I'm... Well, they aren't lying when they said that you, uh, nothing's better than an edge one of your friends put on one of these razors, and they are right. This thing is just fucking awesome. I'm going to try and keep this PG, but I had to throw an F-bomb out there, and I apologize. Hmm. So you're getting the across the grain, I never have a problem getting to the chin. The with it and against it, for whatever reason, it just I haven't had the best of luck on camera or off. So, um, like I said, I can take the criticism. I, I'd rather uh, not bleed than bleed. So we'll kind of, you know, I'll take that one on the chin if I have to. I don't know how much 
much of this you guys can hear on on this. I mean, this thing's given a decent amount of feedback. I mean, it's nothing terrible, but. So, John is, at least from what I know, has done quite a few seasonal soaps. Um, I don't know what all he's got all all year long. Um, he's done some real great stuff. I've got his Sons of Wet Shaving. Uh, what other one do I have? Sons of Wet Shaving, the Prez, and also his Undertaker, in addition to this Relief Factor, which... This relief factor has just an amazing citrusy scent. Um, if you get the chance, pick some up. It's amazing stuff. It's supporting a small business owner, and that's something that's always been near and dear to my heart, considering I've got family that not only work for small businesses, but own. So anytime that you have a chance to support small business, and I know a lot of these artisans actually are, pretty much a small business, a mom and pop shop, and that's one thing that's always nice to say that you're supporting because given all we've been going through with this whole COVID thing, those are the businesses that keep this country going. So if if you have any chance whatsoever of keeping them afloat, by all means, pay the extra money, take care of them, because in the long run they take care of you. Um, a good friend of mine always says, you know, buy a local, buy from small businesses because Amazon's not going to sponsor your kid's baseball team. So, there's just one thing to keep in mind. So, I am going to, again, put you guys on hold. I'm going to rinse up, lather back up for pass number three. Okay, so we are ready for the third and final pass. So, and when John on this blade he actually tightened it up for me these are the original scales by the way I couldn't tell you what they're made of so please don't ask <laughs> but um, at any rate we're gonna get on to pass number three let's clean up the lobes just a little bit I guess I kind of got a tug on those for this so that was poor of me to not catch that before I brought you guys back so <laughs> at any rate we're gonna start um, on the left side of my face using the right hand um, I'm not right-handed, so you're going to hear me whine about this a little bit until I get a lot better. So, at any rate, here we go. Yeah, this is like butter. Now you're probably hearing no feedback whatsoever because the first two passes on the cheeks have just been absolute money. So... Uh, and we're going kind of across the grain up and at an angle on the neck so this is one area of a little bit of nerve wracking for for me but um, like I said if I got to do any off camera cleanup which there should be very little I mean I got a little bit of stuff down here but no big deal I mean nothing I'm gonna sit there and Wine about. But yeah, that is just like butter. And the residual slickness on this soap, I mean, it is just absolutely insane. I, I mean, <laughs> obviously you guys can't see that, or but you're not going to hear me say enough good words about John Romanoff and the job that he does on not only the blades but as well as the soap that he makes because he is on point with all of it no doubt alright so let's switch sides here I 
And like I said, it's a little more feedback right there. It's a little bit of the cross direction of the hair growth. I said before on some other videos it's it's honestly like I get just far enough along that I think everything's going okay and then BAM I'm cut open so I'm trying to be very deliberate so if uh, if this seems very slow and boring um, I get it I'm I'm not exactly gonna be your shave expert that gives you all kinds of uh, informative insight just yet I got a long way to go. This is just a this is a journey for me to say the least and uh, this is my way of kind of tracking it. I mean it's like a video journal if you will. So So, I think that's pretty much where it needs to be. I mean, that's a, a fine shave to say the least. Um, I'm going to put you guys on hold. I'm going to get just a little bit of cleanup action going. I will be right back with the post and we will get going. Alright guys, we're back. So, I said before I was using SMG Soaps Relief Factor. We're going to finish that off with the matching splash um, before that we we're going to use some Thayer's but like I said I just wanted to show you guys this soap is insane I mean if you guys well I gotta turn my hand around but I mean if you guys look at this the peaks look at that I mean no bubbles no nothing that is some damn good soap if you can see that um, he just does awesome work. I don't know what more I can say. If you guys roll the dice on him, you'll be happy. Trust me. And we'll be using some more of his soaps over the course of time. I mean, like I said, I am no expert, but, uh, when I find something that I like, I definitely want to make sure that the people who got it to me get their credit. So, uh, let's put on some Thayer's first. And then we will grab, oh, there it is. <laughs> so, shake it up first. Oh, my hand's just a little slick. I guess it was all that awesome soap that I was hanging on to. He's got all of these caps so that you don't overspill, if you will. So, let it breathe a second. And then, and these splashes are just chock full of good skin food. I mean, your skin feels like a million bucks after this. So, at any rate, Hope you guys have a good week. It's Sunday afternoon for me, which means start of my work week, so I'm headed to work shortly. So keep your shaves clean, and most importantly, keep them wet.